Proverbs 11.2 says, When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowly is wisdom. As you study the Bible as a whole, it becomes easy to see what God loves and what he hates. Uh, God loves faith. Hebrews chapter 11 says, Without faith it is impossible to please him. God loves humility. And God hates pride, arrogance, and haughtiness, which says, I don't need God. Psalm 2 talks about people with this sort of attitude when it says, Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. Jesus told a parable in Luke chapter 18 concerning a very religious Pharisee and a very sinful publican. He said the Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Jesus said, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For every one that exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Humility enough to admit that I am a sinner in need of forgiveness and salvation is necessary to receive God's grace and mercy. God loves the humility that will admit I need a Savior and the faith in Christ as the one who paid the ultimate price for our sin. God loves that. His grace is then freely given to all who ask. We're told that God resisteth the proud but giveth grace to the humble. On that basis, way back in August of 1964, I asked and I received. How about you?